Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Rob's Arcade. I am your host, Rob French. Please do not go anywhere. We got a brand new episode of Rob's Arcade coming right up. But first, the title screen. Hang tight, guys. Buckle up. I'll be right back. Rob's Arcade. Rob's Arcade. Where the games get played and the games get saved so they can be played on another day. Rob's Arcade. All right, guys. There we go. Thank you for uh, tuning in, tubing in, whatever you want to call it. Always appreciate you guys hanging out with me for a little bit here on this kind of like a kind of dreary nasty Wednesday but it's new comic book day so I'm always excited for those and I don't know I'm off today I'm definitely excited about that first time I've had uh just a few days off uh during the week without like you know um being sick or uh having like a holiday like Thanksgiving or something like that so uh looking looking forward to having the day off and these are kind of the days off that i i enjoy you know those days where you can just relax in front of the tv play some video games read some comic books and there is something too about today that's i don't know a little bit reminiscent about when my father would take me out for comics as a young boy uh a young man you know there were uh course there's always beautiful sunny days and you know we have those in the summer and the spring and all of that sometimes in the fall and winter too but you know we get those typical like gray and rainy days here in Virginia during the fall and the winter and I definitely remember uh some of those trips out to different comic shops uh downtown and uh you know kind of looking around out the window and seeing these wet kind of gritty uh, uh you know sceneries of, of this of the city richmond city and kind of feeling like i was looking at bits and pieces of maybe uh gotham or metropolis or something like that you know or spider-man in new york city where you know you kind of read those things in the pages and it's always wet and gritty and grimy and it was always kind of fun to drive around and through uh you know he would take me on errands and things like that and on on you know different weekends and things and it was just really fun and just i, I remember that and driving around today i don't know if it's the music or the the you know the, the overcast and the rain or, or what have you but there is something very uh familiar about those days and driving around with my dad and running around the weekend so um even though it is a little cloudy outside i'm excited i'm off we're going to go grab some new comic books i also just went to Carytown uh tobacco I love uh, these Delta 9 THC uh, gummies. We got an Intica Caribbean mango. Uh, it says right here, in case you're wondering, legal THC. So uh, these, these are really great. Here, and then we also got a Sativa, the Grape Escape. These are pretty cool. I like the... Uh, the names Caribbean Mango, Grape Escape. And then uh, they also had these really fun chocolate bars, extracts, cookies and cream chocolate bar, um, which also have uh, the, the Delta 9 Spectrum. So anyway, I'm pretty excited about these as well. Excited about some comics, excited you guys are here. I'm just excited, man. So uh, I'm gonna go inside. I'm going to go grab some comic books. While I do that, I want you guys to take a look at a little clip of me putting away comics that I've been reading. I know, it sounds awesome, right? It sounds exciting. While I go do that, guys, hit the like button, hit the comment section, let me know how you've been, let me know what you guys have been up to, if you got your Christmas shopping done, and all that out of the way, and uh, make sure you share, like. I'll be right back, you guys, okay? Thanks, bye.
All right. Okay. That was cool. That was a good trip. Went to the comic shop. Got everything I wanted. A few books I figured were out. You know, I sometimes like to watch videos on the books that are coming out today. I kind of know it's coming out when I go in there. I, I went in there blind. I went in there blind today, but I did have a feeling about a few books. I'll show you those. And then I got a book I didn't even know I wanted. So I walked in until, until they were like, hey, do you want this comic book? And I'm like, yeah, I want it. Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is super cute. All right, so we got a winter issue here of uh, Comic Shop News with the Flash lighting up the rest of the Super Friends. That's freaking hysterical. Who is that, Black Canary? He was like, we're going to do Batman, uh, Green Lantern, I got to get some Black Canary tail action in there. That's awesome, the Flash. They call me the Flash at work. If you don't believe me, actually, I got my apron right here. Look, they call me the Flash, and so... But, uh, you know, I got it in the car because we're going to watch this guy. It's kind of a little, a little funky. All right. Um, so, yeah, let's take a dive into the comics we got. Oh, we also got another uh, Darkwing Duck comic shop news. Oh, this is what they were talking about coming up. We're going to get to this here in a second. Uh, but coming out um, from Dynamite, we got some cool stuff from Disney and Dynamite very cool stuff um all right from let's jump into some idw we get some independent publishing i guess uh idw independent publishing um we got ninja turtles cover b 135 out this week a feeling this was going to be out, and they can't give me a break and, like, break these up a little bit. We got the uh, Armageddon game number three, cover B, as well. I was just a big fan of the B covers. I was liking those a lot more than the A covers. Cover B, Jose, Hose B. All right, um, we got from Image Comics, Spawn number 336. Very cool, very dynamic cover. I like that a lot. Kind of a classic looking cover, but very, very bold. A lot popping out on there. Speaking of bold, let's jump over to some DC with this amazing reprint of the uh, the Brave and the Bold number 28, uh, Justice League of America number 28, Starro. Very cool book here. Now, for those of you who are not aware the giant starfish in uh, Suicide Squad is an actual DC character. It's got a long history. It's been in episodes of Smallville. It's been in episodes of uh, different animated features from uh, Batman and Superman, Justice League. All, all, every, every. It Star has been around the block for, for, for a while now. Uh, speaking of guys, have been around the block for a while now. We got Batman. 130, and because uh, it's the holiday season, boop dee doo, man a bop a dee bop, went ahead and grabbed the holiday cover as well. Oh, is this dog eared already? Oh, no, it's just the, it's like, oh my god, is that bent back already? Very cool. All the guys hanging out. What happens if somebody comes by for Christmas? He's going to know that Bruce Wayne's Batman. I wonder if there's a prize he's not in his bat suit. More Batman. We got the uh, Deadly Duo. I haven't read the first one of these yet. I've got a stack of comics to get through. I've been reading a lot of comics uh, in my downtime before I go to bed, and I've got like such a stack of comics from this past week, the week before, probably three weeks of comics. But I'm going through them in weird orders. Like I'm not just reading that first weeks and then going and going in order. If I get like an issue of, um, I'm trying to think about the, the deadly neighborhood Spider-Man, for instance, I picked up the first issue and never got around to reading it. The second issue came out. So I was like, you know what? I've got both issues. I'm going to go ahead and read both of these back to back as opposed to, you know, waiting a month for the next issue to come out. So it's kind of nice. Like I'll read other issues in between. 
I still got this guy. Actually, it's like one of the next books that I was going to read was the first part to this, this story here. So now it's awesome. I get to read the first book and then jump right into the second one. It's awesome. I love it. So cool. All right. Uh, Deadly Crisis One Shot War Zone. Like this cover a lot. It's kind of got like these, uh, you know, it's like the, the Green Lantern, looks like the Flash, almost like a Daredevil Spectre. But like some of the characters that we're not quite familiar with, maybe from other galaxies, other universes, if you will. Uh, let's see, we're going to jump into Marvel. Speaking of other worlds and galaxies and universes, we got the Secret Invasion, soon to be a Disney Plus television show. So far, I'm liking this. Got some mystery intrigue. Got the very cool uh, Sam Jackson fury there. So when I read the comic, I could do the voice. What do you think? Mother, there's uh, mother effing scrolls on this mother effing hover carrier. All right. Oh, uh, that was so bad. Uh, we got a new Miles Morales run. They like to do this every now and again, just start the book over. Uh, it's a legacy number 283 of Miles Morales, but we got a new run here. And uh, this is a week of multi covers. We got some, some cool variant covers out. This is the only variant left on the shelf. So I wanted to make sure I grabbed this one as well. Just love these colors right here. Very beautiful, very cool art. Some, some Predator, some Predator action. So far it's been very cool. I've been enjoying the Marvel run on Alien. I've been enjoying the Marvel run on Predator. I think anybody who knows me, those are some of my favorite sci-fi slash action slash horror franchises out there. I love Alien, I love Predator. I love when they put them together. Just it's awesome stuff. I've been loving these comics. So I'm excited to read parts. Uh, five of this. I might even still have four laying around I haven't gotten to yet, which would be another fun, fun read. And then this is, drum roll. All right. Uh, this this is the book I didn't know I, I wanted, but I'm kind of glad I grabbed it. Uh, it's the Disney's uh, Gargoyle from Dynamite. Very cool. Very awesome. Uh, he goes, do you want this Gargoyles comic? I was kind of like, um, no, I used to love the show growing up, but I'm not really, I don't know if I want the comic book. He's like, okay, it was just been, it's been selling pretty well. He's like, this is the last one we have. And I was like, oh, okay. he's, I wonder if he's doing that with everybody. Alec, if you're doing that with everybody, dude, I'm going to, man, I'm going to not probably do anything really at all, but that'd be hilarious. Oh, it's the, this is the last one. If he did that with every book, uh, this is the last one of these. <laughs> this is uh, this was, was the last bat Batman I got. He's got them all behind the stack behind the counter. Uh, so this is his last issue of uh, <laughs> Batman. Batman. Uh, Disney's gargoyles. I'm thinking Batman gargoyles. I don't know. It's all the same thing, right? These are the gargoyles from Gotham City. They got their own their own show from Disney. Uh, very cool. It looks like a dynamite is putting together some some fun nostalgia for the uh you know the fans and the, the guys who grew up in the 90s of the, the 90s television shows um as i showed you here we got dark wing duck and it looks like that's going to be their next run here is going to be dynamite dark wing duck again just kind of like diving into that whole like nostalgia and um what it's like to be uh, a kid and what it's like to you know um to be alive and to be, you know, growing up in a time where, you know, I was just talking with the guys in the comic shop, you know, where you had amazing cartoons on uh, afternoon television, amazing cartoons uh, on Saturday mornings with real stories, content, um, you know, not just goofy, crazy drawings, screaming, running around, crazy noises and blips and bloops and all that. And, you know, each... You know, you think like, oh, how are they going to top Ninja Turtles? And then something like Gargoyles would come out. And you'd be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Um, and, you know, Disney continued to do that throughout like their, their afternoon programming, whether it was Darkwing Duck or uh, DuckTales, all of those things. Like each series, not, not to say that each one got better uh, or that Darkwing Duck is better than DuckTales, but, you know, you sit down as a kid and you're watching 
DuckTales and you're just blown away at the magic and, and just, you know, the wonder of it all. And you're like, there's no way they can top something like that. And then Rescue Rangers comes out and Tailspin come out and you sit down and you watch those and it captures that same, that same feeling and that same joy um, and happiness that you get from watching that original, that original show. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really happy I popped in. These guys are always taking good care of me over here at Stories Comics. If you ever find yourself in the RVA off of Broad Street, kind of close out to like the short pump ish area. Uh, definitely look stories, comics up. Really great shop, really great people. Really great place to spend your day off. And I'm glad you guys were uh, able to hang out with me on my day off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Got my seat belt on. Uh, guys, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, remember to, like I said, hit that like, the like button, hit the comment section, share, subscribe. I think you can write a review if you want. Give the channel a little attention. It really helps me out. Uh, just, you know, helps the channel out. Get this, get this guy a little, a little recognition. And I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. Boop dee boop. Thanks for, uh, like I said, thanks for tuning in. Remember, this is not goodbye. This is simply to be continued. Until next time, do not spend that quarter anywhere else, you guys. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go read some comics. Reading is the best superpower you can have. I've always said that. I still believe it. Take care, guys. Bye.